robot over to see the Liberty Bell. Let's do it. Let's do Let's it. Do it. Those are the last two men to see Canada's Hitchbot robot intact. After hitchhiking safely across Canada and parts of Europe, it was left broken and in pieces in Philadelphia this past weekend, just a few days into its journey across America. But it turns out Hitchbot's violent end wasn't quite as it seemed. And the city that saw its destruction is now working on its resurrection. Our Stephen D'Souza is in Philadelphia with the story. Stephen. Paul, this is the spot where Hitchbot met its untimely demise, and many are wondering just what happened here, and if we know the whole story. This is Alfred's Alley, the oldest residential street in the U.S. The homes here date back to the 1700s, and over the weekend, this is where Hitchbot was found destroyed. Very curious of what really is happening is that we're all being detectives and trying to figure out exactly what happened and why. The Watson family lives nearby and wants to know how it went down. The mystery begins with the surveillance video. First released yesterday, it purports to show a man kicking the defenseless Hitchbot. Quick glance up here shows there are no cameras focusing on that spot. It seemed uh, rather suspicious that uh, this was actually taking place. I can't believe that. I, we just picked up a hitchhiking robot. This is Suspicion so has turned towards gotta, the last people seen with Hitchbot, Ed Bassmaster and Jesse Wellen. Both are notorious down, YouTube so pranksters. And the man in the so-called surveillance video bears a remarkable resemblance to one of their signature characters, who's always wearing a number 12 Philadelphia Eagles jersey. Beyond. Late today, Bassmaster admitted he faked the surveillance video, but says he doesn't know who destroyed Hitchbot. You know, we have some random computer boards. Uh, Fortunately, the brotherly love of Philadelphia extends to robots, and a plan is afoot to try to resurrect Hitchbot. Oh, man. It had to get destroyed in Philly because... It's not like Philly's a terrible place, but we always get blamed for so many things. So we have all of our electronics over here. We Georgia Guthrie Hacktory, runs Hactory, a technology collective. Um, She's rallying you know, Philadelphia's so tech community to come together on Thursday night to recreate, rebuild, and hopefully reboot Hitchbot's journey. There's so much interest here and so much support. Like people have been getting in touch with us like crazy. So they really want to do something. While they haven't heard from Hitchbot's Canadian creators, their hope that the sun doesn't set on its cross America journey. If we can end the story, or at least the, the part that happens in Philly, if it ends on a positive note, that's what we want. What started as a social experiment has become so much more. The tiny robot has captured the hearts and minds of people around the world. And Hitchbot's fans will be anxiously awaiting an announcement about its future tomorrow. Paul. Thanks, Steve. Steve D'Souza on the case for us tonight in Philadelphia.